the scholar and the lion. Far away is in a small town. Their lived for scholar. They were also great friends. The first three had spent many years acquiring knowledge in various areas from various areas. They were very learned, well rich, and much respected in the community. The fourth one was not so knowledgeable but was rich in common sense. Often they got together to discuss scholarly matters. In one of those meetings, one of the scholar remarked to the other, Let us go on a journey. Let us explore distant lands. If we go to faraway kingdom and king's court, we will earn a lot of fame and fortune. The other two thought it was a good idea, so agreed immediately. So the four scholars set out on their journey. They walked at their own pace, observing the surroundings, enjoying the nature, and discussing scholarly matters. At all places, they were respectfully welcomed and offered food and hospitality. One day, as they First, the rest, they noticed something in the desert road. Beside a sharp, there lay the bone of a dead lion. The scholar felt this was an opportunity to practice their knowledge and skills. For long, they debated how When a under one when an under with circumstance the lion meet with his death, then the idea dawned. Let's bring this lion back to life said the first scholar with great excitement i can put the skeleton together i can put flesh and blood into it said the second scholar i can give it life so that it becomes a real lion said the third scholar the more they discussed, the more excited they grew, the very thought of the skin and bone turning into a life lion was thrilling, having the power of knowledge to do proud of themselves. They grew impatient for action. But the fourth scholar kept quiet. He did not share their excitement, nor did he say what he could do. Instead, he gave a word of question. What if the lion attack? You spoil for what a silly question. A, you covered the ridicule him. Don't you know we have complete control about what we create? The fourth scholar continued to be thoughtful. 
I'm not sure that you will still have power when the lion come alive. It will show its true nature. When it roars and pounds on you, what will you do? You may not have the power to change the basic nature of an animal. Common sense say that a lion would not eat grass and a lamb will not eat flesh. The tree scholar laughed at him. True coward you are. That is the use of all our learning. If we do not trust our own knowledge, do not you know that we have complete control on what we create. The fourth scholar thought for a while and said, All I have in my common sense, which I have shared with you. Now do what you want, but wait till I climb that tree. The with this word, he ran fast, climbed a nearby tree and hid among the branches. The tree friends continued to ridicule him. Save on you, learn scholar, hiding in fear on a tree. Keep watching, don't miss the fun when we do our magic. With great care, the first scholar put the skin and bone together. The second scholar did his part of putting flesh and blood. And soon it was a real lion stress in the grass. Then the third scholar used his learning and breathed life into the lion. The lion breathed straight away, opened his eyes. He turned around, crossed, got up on all four and roared. Next instead, the lion pounced and eat up all the three scholar. Moral one value your common sense to know your limits.